right about now we're heading into our SMB Insight. All right, and uh, speaking of the SMB Insights, and today's we will be looking at copyright. The copyright and the copyright law, very interesting matters and very crucial matters. For one, you would say, very few Ugandans do understand this issue of copyright. Very few Ugandans take it as a serious one. But however, when you look at the fact that the government of Uganda is greatly looking at pushing for copyright, not only that, the content creators, the entrepreneurs, the innovators, copyright is simply giving you a right to what belongs to you, to what is yours. It's just like marriage. Marriage in simple terms is just like the fact that people are trying as much as they can to violate the rules. But once you've taken someone, uh, someone to the aisle and you've tied the knot, it is simply a copyright that this is my husband, this is my wife, in law and in holy matrimony. So when you look at that, it is one of the reasons as to why people normally have wedding rings onto their left hand. And uh, with the copyright, it doesn't go different from that because it is just like a right. But, different, but this one is quite different because it is a right that you pay for. You have to pay for this copyright. You go and register for what belongs to you. If at all I am Sonko and I set up my phone mm -hmm. or I come up with my innovation, I am supposed to go and register for it. That this is yours. This is mine. This is and your And then song. that means I have my copyright. So for the musicians more so, mm -hmm. if at all I go out there and I register this song. Mm -hmm. And the question point, if Songko has developed it, like for example, let's give a song, uh, mm -hmm. it's the most popular around copyright. If Songko has drafted it all, it, he owns it really, it is his. And I happen to chip in first and register that particular song before him, mm -hmm. that is my copyright. Songko will be not the uh, owner by law, right? Mm -hmm. By law will not have any rights mm. towards that particular entity or song or whatever bucket that he has registered or he claims. In this regard, he will be always claiming, I claim that's mine, I claim he stole mm. it from me, I claim he stole it, he but stole it. But by law? But the by law, Rita has registered it, it's mm. mine. We'll be looking at that. Mm. And uh, as a matter of fact, when we talk about the SMB Insight and this particular one, uh, we have uh, Mr. Enoch Mpunga who is uh, the, uh, from the Uganda Christian Lawyers Fraternity, taking us through copyright. But our very first would be, what does copyright mean? And this is what he had for us. For me to explain what a copyright is, a copyright is a right somebody acquires after they have registered their innovation or their, their creation or creative work that they have come up with. It could be a sound, it could be a film, it could be anything. It could be a song, it could be a poem. Now, the moment you register that, then you acquire a right, one, a right of ownership, which gives you room now to negotiate on that. It gives you room to earn income out of what you've done. And ownership, you exclusively enjoy what you have created from other people. Very well, there you have it. The moment you register it, it belongs to you. Mm. So you become uh, the owner, mm. but it's a right that you pay for. Yes, mm. I mean, I've invested in it. Why not own it? Mm. And you, you just had the brain. You kept it all to yourself. Mm. When I come and grab it, it's not yours. So I believe it is very important for people to actually understand that it's better for you to register what belongs to you. Mm. And mm. more so, now let us compare it to business owners and uh, business uh, entrepreneurs. We have had business names. So mm. you come up with uh, Senti Sonko, I don't know, mm. which name do you want to highlight JP. for your... Okay. You say JP so so Sonko's JP. business, maybe mm. restaurant is mm. highlighted as JP restaurant. JP, JP restaurant. Cafe JP. Cafe JP or mm. anything JP. But I tend to see mm, that name is interesting. Mm. I could actually, it could help me sell. It could already be a brand out there selling a hot cake. Mm. But so Uncle JP here has never registered it. Then I go to the registry. I say, What? This name? Um, 
I need it. Like I just register for it from nowhere. There is no way by law Sonko is going to claim even if we go to court Sonko ama court ama tiger ja kunyeleza. Kubanga I have it registered and by law it is not mine it doesn't belong to me mm. in any way. So besides that we've also been having the law of copyright in Uganda. Mm, mm. And uh, one would wonder when was it enacted? Mm. It has been here for quite some time and uh, this is what lawyer Edo Mpunga had to say. I think to say the journey, this is something that has happened uh, or that has existed throughout, you know, I don't know, ages. It has been here for long. But like I said, people did not know these rights. People were creating works, but they didn't know that they have these rights. Now, in Uganda, in the year 2010, a law was passed by parliament which allows or which gives procedures in which somebody can have their works fully registered. But in other jurisdictions, jurisdictions, these are other countries, these are the other areas, these laws were existing. For example, we have the World International Intellectual Property Organization. Now, these ones have been protecting um, uh, intellectual properties, which include, among others, trademarks, patents, and copyrights. Now, all these are protected, and these are in the industry of creation. So, the journey has been there, but like I said, the lack of knowledge from many of the stakeholders um, is the reason as to why some people have not benefited from these works or their works or this law. But the works, I mean, the law exists and it is, it is, it is, it is, it is something that you need to know for you to claim it. And there you have it, the act of it around the copyright. What do you have to say about that? Or what next is coming up? Since 2010, mm -hmm. uh, the act has been there, uh, the law, rather. So this is to help people understand that you need to protect what belongs to you. Okay. If you're told you are, because musicians, by the way, I believe musicians in Uganda are strongly fighting for this cause, mm. trying to have copyright, whereby clearly you produce your song, it is your own innovation, you, 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 you slept about thinking of the lyrics to put in place, then someone in the morning this. someone gets the song, starts distributing, they make money out of your song. Mm -hmm. Or business names, mm. just from uh, one dawn it's gone and mm. you're just left with nothing. But speaking of corporate, is it important anyway? Let us look at how important copyright is. importances uh, that uh, uh, come to, to, to somebody that has fully registered their right. One, you own the property or you own the work. It can be tagged to a name of a person because now you have registered it. Two, you earn income out of this because you can now sell that product. You can sell that name. You can sell that song. You can sell that film because now you owe, it has an owner. But remember, in the first place, it was a, a combination of words that did not have an owner. But now these words have an owner. Now, you get a negotiation. It is an asset. It is an asset. Like any other assets. Like somebody has a land title, you also get a certificate of title, or a certificate of ownership of these works. It can, it can be negotiated in the bank. You can earn money out of it. It can act as security or anything. So all I'm saying is, there are very many benefits that come with the registration of your copyright. It's a song, it's a poem, it's anything. Once you have fully registered this, you can own it and you can negotiate on it. Oh, well, like the uh, goes on how vital copyright is, we also highlighted a bit why you really need copyright if you're going to make money out of the venture that you have uh, put your hands on, all your heart and all your mind on it, make sure at least you get something out of it. I can only see the importance of having your own right to something that belongs to you. It is your own innovation, mm -hmm. first of all. Mm -hmm. So if I told you you've innovated something, and then you've um, registered for it. Mm -hmm. It is quite important for you to understand that you own it. Mm -hmm. Make it yours. Mm -hmm. How do you own that is where we've actually been looking at the importance of copyright. Because the importance is you're safeguarding what belongs to you. Mm -hmm. 
in that if I told you you're wearing this dress, you come out and say, Chine chitete ichangwe, na chiwa andisa. Mm. Eh, okay, one <laughs> <laughs> so if I don't someone finds you you, you know there are some well, a, a, a lot of people so maybe the copyright on my dress could be I have a tag somewhere that this is mine you know a lot of people actually in, in the states whereby someone registers his own name now I take a copyright in Agamba Joram belongs to me so if I tell anyone goes in the hospital to name their child Jora they will have to pay yeah, well, if I, you want I'm that, you invest, my, 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 you invest yes. in it. So people normally go out there to, mm. to, to actually register their names. Mm. Someone registers, uh, their, uh, someone uh, has a copyright on the type of uh, car he drives. So if I told you drive that type of car, he will say you. Mm. Why are you driving my car? Mm. So, but the good thing with the copyright, we've got now social media. We have Google, we have internet. Mm. The help is that when it is already registered, when it goes on the websites or mm. social media. Even when you're in the, at the registry, they'll yes, really show they you just, this. You know, it shows that this is taken. This it belongs to someone or mm. Joram so, or, or they just highlight copyright. Mm. They just put the word copyright. So those of you wanting to use names or different things, really, before you check, uh, do anything or go ahead with it, you can check it out on mm. uh, internet. You will find a copyright word and then there's a crossing in it or, yeah. Mm. But then... One would still say, why is government strongly pushing for the law of copyright? I mean, it is a law that government has to push always. But there is also a strong push on this particular one because it's going to be beneficial for not only the government, but also a number of factors. Let's have a look. There is what we call uh, pirating. It's an offense where somebody uses your work without your consent, okay? Maybe people can, they, can, they do even rep, uh, reproduce what you've done at even a larger scale. Now, they do illegal trade out of you. You know, you, you composed the thing, you composed the music, you did everything, you invested in money, but somebody out there is making money which you are not aware of now. Why are Ugandans, why are musicians, why are, you know, actors, all these people think, why do they think that um, it is high time these laws are, you know, coming out very clearly to protect them? The argument is simple. They think there is a lot of illegal work, a lot of illegal music that is moving around and this is affecting their income. And they look at it in a perspective that even government is losing income. Because if you have these actors, if you have these musicians, if you have these people, and they are not earning as they should have earned, because some other people are doing illegal trade in what they should be earning in, then at the end of the day they don't have the money and even government cannot get the tax. Now, why are they pushing for the law? One, the law should offer them protection of what they have created. And I am saying the law exists, but the method of enforcement, the method or the, the, the areas being used are the ones that need to be either checked, like we, I said earlier, we have Uganda Registration Services Bureau. It has a team of people. You can go there and lodge your complaint. They will entertain your claim. They will entertain your complaint and, and, and they will give you a remedy out of that. So somebody can be penalized. There's law under section uh, 47. So it is even a criminal offense to use somebody's works without their consent. But very few people can litigate on this because one, they lack the knowledge. Somebody doesn't even know that they are, they are pirating on their works. Somebody doesn't even know that merely opening up a business that has the resemblance of another man's business, it is an infringement of their right and it is an offense. So all this is the reason as to why Ugandans are now coming up to fight for this law, to see that the law acts. Very well, why government strongly uh, is strongly pushing for the copyright law. 
this mm. will have improvement in different sectors and different economies around here and also it will help us those who are getting imprisonment because we have had uh, a number of imprisonment cases or even uh, court cases regarding corporate Oliver mm. Mtutemukoti uh, Bawoza Yabba name Yabba company a company so all this will be strongly integrated what do you mm. have to say about that song well, uh, when you look at the fact that government will also be earning a lot of revenue, when you push for a law and the law is being um, implemented, then that means people who are, who are going to register for the copyright, mm. that is uh, revenue taxation mm, mm, mm. taking place for the government. And in the long run, people are, pre, are actually, as the government is implementing the law, everything has to move on smoothly because these laws are always put in place mm. to help people, but at the same time help government in a way of getting some money throughout uh, through the people and uh, uh, through the issue of copyright as one registers there is a certain amount you're supposed to pay that money is going you can't to, register yes. without pay so I tend to once you, you you do that and again it depends mm. on certain business because a, a restaurant mm. case or a restaurant name is way different the person uh, uh, from a restaurant or hospitality in registration the fee differs from that a musician would go and you know want to register mm -hmm. and that also applies to company owners for example um like let me highlight like mtn for example mtn mm -hmm. uganda this is an already brand selling internationally mm -hmm. and a one song call comes out to say hey that's my name like that's that means you're going to put in more money for mm -hmm. its registration because it's already there or it's going to take you for a very long time process to uh, if you want to play around with for example MTN because there are fraud mm -hmm. cases that have arisen or arose from uh, uh, branded uh, names mm -hmm. that someone would think that okay I have got my money I have uh, my investments but the sound of MTN or the sound of blue magic is selling you get it mm -hmm. so I'm going to claim that blue magic that that belongs to me there you're going to Puyiriba. Mm, so you clearly. have <laughs> you have to make sure you always maybe if you want to make money out of copyright fraudity or what i'm not advising for you to go for that but if you want to make money out mm. of it you have to always have your game right and clear do not go for big branded ones you mm. can always tend to go for saint sonko hospital mm -hmm. Saint JP, for, uh, those ones are a bit easier for you, you know, maybe to, to become win cases. very innovative. Of yes, your own. but mm -hmm. moving on further, let us now see how, st uh, what steps can one use actually to register a copyright? What do you need to know? What do you have to undertake or look out for when registering for a copyright? Earlier, one, in your in your work, you must you must be coming up with something something new. It has not be something that exists. Like your work should come up in a new way. That, that one, the first step is that you conduct a search at the registry to find out is there anybody that has this that I'm coming up with. If you establish that there is nobody, you fill in a form. You explain what you are coming up with. If it's a song, you can even send in a recording. These people will listen to this music, if it is a music anyway. And, 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 and after you have undergone the steps, there is a board that has to approve that, okay, this work, one, it doesn't free, I mean, it doesn't infringe on other people's rights that exist already. It is not misleading. It is something that is, 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 is registrable. There is a test that has to be used. And, that, and your works must be subjected to that test. And if the works pass the test, the Registration Services Bureau will ask you to pay a fee. And after payment of a fee, the works will be gazetted or published in the National Gazette for 60 works. And they will be merely saying, all Ugandans, Mr. So-and-so intends to register this and this and this. Now, once they do that registration, um, um, after the, the lapse of those days, then your works will be registered and you'll be given. Now, that time is time within which, if anybody has an objection, they should lodge an objection and say, no, 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 look here, these are my works. Then you can now have an argument, you, are, you can be entertained by Uganda Registration Officers Bureau, 
and the verdict will be given. And that was for copyright. I hope you had it all packaged and you have learned something. We have contributed to your business sales. Maybe your marketing sales will also increase on a daily from a copyright angle there. SNB will continue shortly after the break.